Hi guys, it's me, the Arcana Angel. How you doing out there in YouTube land? Welcome into our sanctuary. I'm happy to be here. Um, today I'm using the bucket list. We're doing love readings. And we're doing a pick a card love reading. Spirit just gave this to me. So um, let's roll with it, right? Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you comment and let me know where it does and doesn't resonate. Or if you need to um, get more clarification, all the details are in the description box below. So i um, inviting in the spirit of wisdom and truth. Thanking the creator for allowing us to come before him. Who is this reading for today? Scorpios. Okay, Scorpio, pick a card. Oh, you got the raven. And um, what's significant about that to me? I'm going to put it, can you see that? What's significant about the um, raven card for you, Scorpio, is that... Uh, 34. This came out in the um, last reading, the full moon reading. It says, even if you reach an extraordinary level of self-awareness, you can still fall into traps like those that captured the raven, which was vanity, right? Thinking that they knew everything and you will be doomed to similar lessons. You probably won't end up drowned by an octopus, but you could, for example, find yourself entangled in a hopelessly dysfunctional relationship. Remain aware of your surroundings and do not allow vanity, told you, to cloud your perspective. Or like Raven, you will end up the clever fool. Mm-hmm. Clouding your judgment. Beware of flatterers, people trying to pump your head up and stuff, right? I'm just saying. I'm excited also to announce I'm using the um, Soulful Resolution, Soulful Revolution deck. Um, Mary Jo, shout out Mary Jo. She signed it and everything. I feel special with you know. I know she loves everybody. So, Spirit, give us a uh, message. What is the hidden desires for the Scorpio's love life? Right? What is the hidden desires for the Scorpios? Love, right? Oh, you got strength and the magician. So, the desires, you're trying to manifest a strong relationship. It look like, look around her anchor. I see that uh, anchor chain. I'm like, you are trying to lock something down, Scorpio? Remember, be careful what you lock down. All that glitters ain't go. Be specific when you ask for what you ask for, right? Yeah, and I'm not so sure this person look like um you didn't already been through it with this person. Have you already broke up from this person one time? Scorpio. You just a fool in love. <laughs> uh what you call a um hopeless romantic. Let's see, spirit. And I see this little thing. Uh, um, you see, he has his cup right there, and he has his wine. And you know, it's Passover season, so I think you're trying to manifest a strong relationship to a swords. You have a decision to make, though, right? <clears throat> mm. You have a firm decision to make. Whether you want to go forward or not. It might have been some stuff exposed. That's what I'm saying with the magician and the two of swords right here. Some stuff may have um, came out. Some truth may have came out. And this was causing you to want something new. So you stand. Yeah, a new strong relationship. You want a new strong relationship. Yeah, look. Ready to uh, move forward. Right. Let's see. Um. Let's see what's distracting Scorpio in the mm, underlying energy. Uh oh, maybe 
E, this the underlying energy, right? I asked what was distracting. You got the four ones, partying, celebrating, being sneaky, the go off, planning, just planning to have a whole nother household, like planning to break somebody hard, right? Leaving um everything behind, just up and leaving. So it's like you building, man, that's conflict. In a household situation, Ten of Pentacles. Ten, I said it was conflict, and this came up again. Look, the same combination. Knight of Swords rushing in with some kind of uh, communication about moving on. With the Knight of Swords and the Eight of Cups. The Queen of Cups and the Knight of Cups. So this two, let's see, you got the King of Swords, the Knight of Cups, and the King of Cups. I think that's the same person embodying the same energy, like rushing in to offer, because they're both knights, right? Rushing in to make an offer, or rushing in to communicate that you want to leave. Like, right, because you want it that strong. Is that what you're doing? Because here's the Queen of Cups right here. It might be a powerful realization. Like, the Queen might not realize. So, yeah, I think this King of um Swords, this is you. But, Scorpio, you the water sign. So, if it's not you, let's go have this powerful realization that your mate is being sneaky, right? Moving around. Because you got the King of Swords and the Seven of Swords right here. Together, right in the middle of this. With the Eight of Cups. With the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Cups. Right? Rushing in to communicate something. Oh, are you rushing in to communicate that you found out the secret? You can't wait to tell them that the lies done been... Um, oh, that you, you done found out, you coming in assertive, right, somebody coming in assertive about something being exposed, that's where the powerful realization coming in, about somebody starting the beginning, or got a whole nother household, right, man, hold up, we got too much, <laughs> Okay, let's see what um your partner's hidden desires are. Spirit, what are their partner's hidden desires? Mm. Mm. Knight of Swords. So maybe it is your um partner rushing in. Knight of Swords energy. Twice. Knight of Swords, they coming in rushing to you, remember? Rushing to you. And here's that ten of coins that's over there. Right? I think they want to have a um, victory with you, though. I think they want to... Um, yeah, see? The star in judgment. Right? With the emperor. I think they want to make it work with you. Yeah, you know, they want to heal it. They want complete recovery. From the loss, like whenever you moved on, you made a firm decision. Eight cups, that's walking away. Right? Temperance. You got temperance also. Clarity, truthful communication. So whoever is rushing in, and it's right over the Ten of Swords. Somebody has to get cut off. I think somebody getting cut off. Because here's the food card. That's the leap of faith. Um... Let's see. Let's get an oracle because this is ridiculous. Lives have been exposed. People are not rushing in, right? Overthinking. 444. Your intuition is on point. You got the higher power in the thinker. So, um, yeah, whatever you've been thinking. Yeah, somebody was between worlds, maybe. Go the distance, treasure, peace, see something from a different perspective. And chaos and conflict was under 
All the glitters is not gold. Remember, it might look good. But, and that's right over the uh, Seven of Swords. All this glitters is not gold. So, you want something strong. They look like they just want something. Period. They look like they just want something. Right? The food part. You being mature about the situation or trying to. Somebody's. Yeah, Between Worlds came out again. Wow. Somebody in Between Worlds was feeling like, do they want to go? Keep making the effort. That's what this is. You got to stand on and make a firm decision because the lies have already came out. The lovers on. I thought I saw the lovers. Uh, no. Was the lovers are in the tower? Let's see who found it. It's a burning building in this tower. Look. It's a burning building. Some people trying to run. Look, and it's so crazy because some people trying to run. Some people um can't get out, and she just over there looking, watching. Maybe watching for her opportunity to come in. Uh, so it could be somebody um looking at y'all, but definitely um forking the road, right? Treasure Island, you can have what you ha want, but. You gotta make that firm decision. Stand on, stand on what you know, Scorpio. I'm the Arcana Angel, and hope you enjoyed this message. Namaste.